I consider myself to be a collections-based researcher. I use specimens and data in natural history collections to answer questions about biodiversity and evolutionary biology. The focus of my research has been on the evolution of feeding behaviors in adult butterflies and moths. From one that involves using barbed mouth parts to pierce through fruits to feed on fruit juices. And there's species within that group of fruit piercing moths that have also used those piercing mouth parts to feed on animals on their blood. And so we call these the vampire moths. I've been traveling around the world for most of my academic career, trying to understand the switching between a plant and an animal host in a variety of different moth species. One of the most significant projects I've been involved with in recent years is a digitization of parasite specimens in natural history collections across the country. We're looking at species that are or have the potential to transmit pathogens or disease to humans and other animals. And so digitizing records of those specimens in collections allows us to have a more complete picture of where these potentially harmful organisms might occur. So we have over 30 institutions uh, and museums involved in this work to deliver broadly across the research community and even for educational uses. Most recently, I've been overseeing the Milwaukee Public Museum's statewide community science project, which involves conducting plant and animal surveys in different natural areas across the state. We are sending folks out into the field every week to collect data about the different types of pollinators and plants and even birds and mammals that they might be seeing in these places. And we are documenting those species in real time and sharing them online through the iNaturalist website. One of the most exciting aspects as academic dean is exploring all of the different ways in which collections, research, the planetarium, our exhibits, in our educational programs can work together and envision and implement some larger project that's going to provide a wonderful experience for our museum's visitors.